Well, hello there, YouTube, and welcome to a special episode of Seven Days to Die, and today... Today, we're gonna look at modding, if you like, or at least playing in the Navs game world, and here we are, you can see we're in the, uh, in the game directory for Seven Days to Die, and there I am in the world directory. What I'm gonna do, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna highlight the Navs game, uh, default map, there it is, there it is. Gonna copy that map, I'm gonna paste the map. Uh, you can see I've already done a couple of versions there, look at that. Because I've been trying it out, see? So this is version 4, version 4, check. Now, <clears throat> before we can do anything else, we need to start our game. Do we? No, we don't, we need to edit this. So let's uh, just edit this, I shall now, you can see me edit this, watch, I shall now open the thing to edit. Here we are inside uh, Photoshop. Now, there's a couple of things, really, these, these... Ah, oh, obviously the colours of the the map. The colours of the map. Um, if you're going to edit the biomes, my suggestion is go into mode, go into index mode. Index mode located. It's seen that uh, there's six colours in there. It's just say that somewhere, six colours. So then press OK. Now, get your little square tool. And what we're going to do, ladies and gentlemen, today, we're going to, um, not only we're going to do the Navs, Navs Gain map, we're also going to go like this and get a little square. We're going to get a little square like this, and we're going to go like this. Now, this, in theory, is about the area of um, the region of the map that we would like to go to. In fact, do I'm just going to make it slightly bigger. I'll make it slightly bigger. Because I can't remember. Now, obviously, we've got a problem that I need to pick this colour. So, I could, it's already picked, but I could have just gone like that and picked the colour. Pressed OK. Get the brush. Doesn't matter, because now I've made that square. I can only colour in the square. Very nice. Very nice indeed. And then, why were you? Why were you? I always like to put a little secret, uh, little secret section over there somewhere for some kind of adventure. Maybe later on. So, we've done that now. I, I admit, I admit this... Bit tatty. It, well, it's not tatty. It's, it's, it's a bit too straight, but it would do. It would do for what we need, and what we need is for it to be like this. So save that now. Oh, that's annoying, isn't it? It's right underneath there. Save. Check. So we've done that, everyone. So far, we've done fantastic. Now let's close this. But fear not, because we want to open the radiation map next. Okay, there is the uh, the normal one. Uh, and all it is there is red and black, and I've just simply reduced the red somewhat. And you can see this area here is the area which we've essentially now just called in green. Okay, so we're there, we're there. Okay, let's go back. And then here we are, right, eventually. in Back in the game, and it's seven days to die, there it is. Now, we're not going to go into a new game, we're not going to continue a game, we're not even going to join a game. We're going to go straight to the editing tools, and we're going to go to world editor. And there, we should now see V4 of the map we made. There it is, you see? Double-click it. Starting game. Loading game data. Okay, it's going to get exciting. Here it is. Um, okay, now first of all, we need to press F1 and go to DM, CM, F1 again, and then press Tab, and then press Tab again because it means to press that. Press the letter M. Then if we switch this on, the switch will now give us the ability to see, and we can see now where we are. Okay, we're over there. Uh, this isn't great thinking about doing it like this, is it really? I'm trying to see where my base is in the game, so we can we do a couple of things. Um, first of all, I just need to get this to a position that I, I recall. I think we're here. I think that's... No, 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 we're not. Oh, I've lost my bearings. I've literally no idea. Where's Dyersville? There. Bridge. Is this it? Is this our base? Yes! Gosh, alright, okay. Hello, and uh, here we are. Um, we're going to do a couple of things. We're going to do some proof of concepts. This is the first one. This is the, as you recall, <coughs> as you may recall, um, in the special edition of this thing that's inspired this video, uh, we, gosh, transformed this back to our base, and I'm going to do that now. So let's go to... Uh, 
It's hard, isn't it? Did I put DM mode on? Oh, no, I think I've turned it off. That's why. Just, I'll tell you what. Okay, that was better. Cool. I don't know. I don't know sometimes. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, we're going to show the bounds. There it is. And then we're going to click. And then we're going to press F1 again. And then we're not going to press F1. We're going to press Escape. And this is not turning out to be a great tutorial so far. Go type in that. And we're looking for the later version of this. It could be that one. I think it is that one. So we're going to just try this. We're going to just see if... I should have... God, I'll tell you what, right, okay, load into... I forgot what you're doing now, oh, shit. Load into? I forgot what you do. Uh, hang on, hang on. Press K. You can also press K and... Replace. Ah, oh, you know what? I forgot. I forgot. I did it now. Did I just delete it? Maybe I did. Maybe I deleted the prefab. Then you can put Z there. Just go a little bit. No, 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 no. no. Z just on the corner there, my dear. No, you smeg head. Ugh. All right. We'll go there. Okay. Now, this is interesting. You've always got to face north. So facing north. Check. Uh, load into... Oh my god. And then escape and place. Is that the right way round? Now it's slightly short. I've couldn't I've changed my buttons. I'm gonna just go like that and pop it up. Escape and place. And I think that's where you get the channel around the house. But whatever. I mean you can't win it all, can you? Get rid of the bounds there, which we can do by the it's not bad. It's not great, but you get the gist. Now you obviously can fill that in yourself. It wasn't. I guess it wasn't made to spec. Actually, do you know what I think I've done there? Mate? I've raised it up too high, haven't I? So we can fix that. We can go back in, show the bounds, click it, and then adjust by going down one. So possibly down two there. Really, let's just quickly check and see. Place. Oh, that's it, isn't it? Show bounds. And we're in. Okay, there it is. There's our base. So we can see. I've, it's it's in the wrong place, isn't it? That's It's in the wrong place. But that's okay, because watch, we can fix it. We can fix it. We can just go like this. Click it. And bring it back to where it's supposed to be. So escape and place prefab again. And then show bounds. I said we've done well. So, so far, we've look at that. We've done it. We're in the Navs game. We've replaced the default one with a new one. We can fix that. We can fix the ground. It's not a big deal. It's a pain, but it's not a big deal. Um, I don't know why it's doing quite like that. Right, I feel like I can just fix it one more. Just one more fix. No, let's leave that. Okay, so we've done that, because uh, otherwise we'll be here all bloody day. It looks nice, though, doesn't it? All right, so that's that. Now, let's get the map back up, because we need to go to this so look you can already see something's gone on look at that green there let's just quickly go here because i've overshot the green a little bit and again you can fix this at any time so it's no big deal uh, but let's have a quick check and see what effect this is hard oh this is interesting isn't it oh is that the clunky it is as well. Look at that. I've overshot the green, and I've got to say, I quite like it. Don't you? Don't you? Do you think that's quite good? I think it is. I do believe that. It's actually... I'm half tempted to go back into the map and just get rid of that, that industrial area and completely replace it with green. But look. Look. Now, because we've done what we've done... Uh, oh, God, it's taking ages to do that. Because we've done what we've done, uh, you can now see in the distance green. Now, if you remember on the episode where we went into the Forbidden Zone, this did not look green. Uh, the reason is, is because we've changed the map. If you remember the biome, the colour green has been added. And so now the distance drawing is what you see here before you, which is the green, as opposed to the other thing. So if you wanted it to have that kind of shield effect... 
then don't do the colour of the map thing and you'll have that. But isn't that nice? Isn't that actually kind of nice now, isn't it? Quite picturesque. I mean, look at that. We can travel through here. Absolutely no problem at all. Isn't this good? Okay, so we're going to go here. And as you can now see, we are entering into... Uh, this is... I, I'd actually modded... I can't remember why it's done that. I think I modded the original game. So that's the arcade. It's still there. But now if we go here, you'll see we're in this area. It's now... It's not got mines everywhere. So it's nice. The air is nice and clear because of the, the biome that we're in and if we press escape and show bounds we will see that each of these is actually a prefab if we go up a little bit we'll see so a couple of things we can do for example we can click that and if we go to press k we can delete that prefab so let's have a look and see what it looks like without anything in look at that no it's the forest biome no it's not it's yeah it is so this in theory could well respawn back into um, just default forest ground, but possibly without all of the debris over it. Not entirely sure. Well, curious noise. This is that. Um, and so now we're in a position of, of well, what could we do? We want to put something here? Well, we can do exactly what we did before. As long as you're facing north, um, go down. Press your little set key there. Now, there's two things you can do. If you keep your finger on shift, uh, let's find an object first. Look at that. If I press shift, it'll it'll lower the object down. So if I press it now, the object is underneath. See? Uh, you can't see it because it's underneath. So if I drop something down now, it's going to be at that height. I can drop it down one extra level. I'm going to just do it that high. Why? We can just lower it. Now, well, let's import something exciting. So let's go into the uh, thing. And if we look at the prefab editor, uh, this, this browser, we can actually see all of the different things. And sure enough, if you remember, we did um, this is good. The house, uh, Bandit House. Okay, let's load that. Going to load it in now. It's quite a big property, so let's quickly check that it's within the boundaries. It's looking okay. Whoops, going to check it's in the boundaries. Obviously, it's in the boundary over there. And arguably, gosh, it goes up a bit. This one, and it's in the boundary over there. Now, do we want it to be like that? Maybe not. Maybe we want to just move it. May as well just move it into the centre, mightn't we? So let's imagine that's what we're going to do with our prefab. So now I'm going to press escape. Place the prefab in. Now I already know that this has got a raised floor. So let's go down. 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 Pressing C to go down there. And look. Look at this. It just looks rubbish, doesn't it? Look at that. It's rubbish. It's one. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight nine blocks too high so I've I think it's control and G one two three four five six what did I say seven uh, do you know I don't know what I did let's find out escape and place uh, one more possibly two really it's hard to say isn't it should really? we go for two let's just go up one. Oh, we'll try one first, because place. Yeah, I think that's okay. Let's unshow that. So clear them off and quit. So Q just to go down here. Look at this. So this is, we found this. It's in the prefab editor. Now, there's a couple of things there. We can see that it's not great. It's not great. It goes like that, doesn't it? So, well, let's fix it. Let's fix it. Let's go back into that. Let's fix it. Two second job. Highlight it. Uh, again, control and G, but I'm doing control and full stop because I had to remap the G key because the G key is also the drop key. Frustratingly enough. And in the game, I constantly press the damn drop key. So we see what that looks like there. It might look a bit crap, but we'll see. Place the prefab check it might need to go down one let's just see there feel like we can get away with another I'm gonna try it I'm gonna lower it down one more and then place the prefab
God, uh, actually, that's what I think. My Christ, let's just undo that. I think we may have gotten. Gosh, look at that. Now, we have got a slight side effect of doing this, which is this. What can we do here? Well, there's a few things. We can just fill it in. We're in creative mode. We can just go like this. We can go Z. We could down um, there. I think we can get down there. Let's just have a quick check. Z. Uh, I can fill that in with what have we got? Stone, which I'm not going to do. I could fill it in with soil, but if I wanted to, I could be very clever about it, couldn't I? And, uh, let's give our friend here a nice big pool. So L, and then delete. Wait for it to finish doing this. Has it done it? And then delete. And look at that. Got made yourself a nice big pool. Oops, press the wrong button. Obviously, there's a slight glitch. I think that's just because we were moving. Uh, when we come back in the game, that should fix itself. We can find out. Uh, but there you go. So we've made that. And we put a pool in. Uh, you don't believe me? Let's go swimming. Let's just get rid of that. There you go. Look at that. Nice big pool. Proper swimming pool, this. Look at that. Brilliant. Okay, so we've done that. Well done, everyone. And this is... Uh, should we have a quick look at this? This is the uh, Bandit House, which, as far as I'm aware, does not appear <coughs> in the game. Certainly doesn't appear in the Navs game. Oh, look at that. It's good, isn't it? It's good. Um, now, there shouldn't be any zombies inside here, but there could be some booby traps. Well, isn't this exciting? Let's go up and see... Now, there is, a, it is like a, I'm just trying to show which is the way. Now, you see, look, look, it, it, the house is like a, it's a maze. You can go everywhere. You can go everywhere and anywhere here. Um, now, where? I shouldn't have said that, should I? This is from the test builds, I think, that the fun pimps have. So just... And it, it kind of goes into some... Oh, you see, look, there are. There's mines. Is that a mine? Oh, these are just torches. Oh, there's a mine. There is a mine. Groovy. And there you go, look at that. So so we've done that. It's exciting, that is hard. So we've done that, and we've put a pool in, because it's daft. Um, so you, you get the gist. You can now import anything you do. So everything and anything. If you've done backups of your bases, um, you can put them into here. Brilliant. All we've got to do is, when we finish messing about, is press Escape. Press Save. And that is it. Crazy. Isn't it crazy? But doesn't it look... So much more amazing. Yeah, I'm half tempted. Do you know what I'm going to do now? I'm going to quit. I'm going to quit that. A kind of... We're in index mode still, yep. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Essentially... Get rid of... The industrial zone. Isn't that nice? Now, I'm going to get rid of it to a certain degree, so... Let's keep it like that. Now, then, there is, there is, this is where you could potentially run into a problem. I'm going to zoom in and we'll see if this is indeed working. Yes. Yes. Good. Good. Brilliant. Right, so let's save that. Where is it? Pause. Oh, he's lost the water. It's odd. <laughs> it has filled in the gap, though, so that's nice. Yeah, I don't know where the water went to. It's odd, isn't it? Anyway, no, we have redone this now. Let's just quickly go and see... Oh, shit. Let's go into the map. Um, I'm going to go like this. In fact, so what I should have done there, damn it. Let's just see if this works. It may have some kind of a hissy fit. Map... No, it's okay. It's, it's going to fix it as we go. Um, look how much better that is. In comparison to... Uh, 
Oh, I just love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I hate that about other zone. Isn't that amazing? Great. Okay, look, I've got a couple of things I'm going to show you to uh, finish off this bit. So here we go back over to this area. And as you can see, at the back of this area is this uh, this mountain. There's a couple of things we could do. It's good, isn't it? That, I like that. Right, okay. So we've done that. So far, we're, we're doing well. Now we're going to go... Ooh, let's go down. Just check. Gosh. So here we go. Uh, now we're facing... No, this is going to be a bit of a pain in the arse, this bit, but it should work in the end. So let's try it out. First of all, we need to... Uh, let's pop a Z here. Go over here and witness the glory that is going to be this complete abortion of an idea. Press escape and go into this. And then this time we're going to type in Mike again. And this time we're going to look for the secret lair. Load into it. Now we can see this is a few issues here. If I just go up, you can see first of all, it's completely in the wrong place. So um, control and full stop. Control and G for you. Look at that. Now, if we go up, we can see that this is just peeping out of here. Now, if I go like this and f I try and find an area that is completely... Hmm, let's have a look. Now, it's not bad. I know already that the door for this is supposed to be here, so it needs to be... That that could work. So let's place it. Now this could all change. But we, we, it, don't worry though. Panic not. First of all I need to place the prefab. And then I need to see the door. And I can't see the door there. So I'm going to press uh, escape. And then I'm going to press X to rotate the prefab. And it's going to destroy the mountain. See. Is that the door? I can't bloody tell. How am I supposed to see that? I always get it wrong. Uh, X. Unless it's oblong. It could be oblong. It is oblong. Smeg. All right, fair enough. Um, so, control dot. Again, control and G. Yeah, for anyone else, go like that. Press escape and place prefab. And we can see the door there. It all looks a bit weird there, doesn't it? Now, there's a few things we can do to try and fix this. Um, we can press... F1 and CR to reset the chunk, but it may affect this. Let's see if it does. Yeah, well, it does to a certain degree. No, it doesn't. Uh, do you know what? Let's just... Did I save that? I don't know if I did. Okay, let's see what we've got. We have a prefab built into the mountain. Hopefully there's our door that we can hack into. Um, it's got the gap. I don't know what to say. You get the, you're digging into a side of a mountain there, so it could be that there's a... I may have got a slight imperfection on the prefab. I think I have. Yeah, there it is. There's your problem, you see, sir. I uh, wonder how far it goes. Does it go around the back as well? I think it does, yeah. The prefab is slightly flawed in the sense that it's not got a flat edge. It's got a thing at the bottom. I could probably fix that. The prefab editor should fix that nicely, really, but there you go. Not bad, a bit weird, but there you go. That so we've put a prefab in the side of the mountain. It's not bad. We could we can cover this up, I think. And uh, so it's interesting, though, isn't it? Isn't that interesting? If I punch it, yeah. Uh, we can do anything because we have the power. Maybe you want to put something down there. You can do that. You can do that. Isn't this good? Isn't this kind of cool? Now, I don't know how far we can go this way. Um, there will be... Uh, it's good, though, isn't it? Because it does look like it just keeps going. It's like it just keeps going forever. Look how far. You wouldn't think it ever ends. Look at that. How does it ever end? Where the hell is the end of this? Uh... Yeah. I mean, this is all brand new, isn't it? Good, it's good. It is good. Uh, it's good, I promise you, because uh, it's just exciting, isn't it? And we can keep going. I don't know where the edge of the map is. Oh, there's the edge. You can just about see it there. But wow, for for the fact that you can't see the edge, 
It's amazing. Isn't that good? I've got to say that is kind of cool. Anyway, so there you go. What, we, what have we done? We've copied the map, the Navs game map. This is this is what we were doing. We were making modifications to the map. So we've uh, we replaced a prefab inside the uh, the Navs game map. We can play this map now if we start a game. Or we... So we've got a whole new habitable zone, which we've uh, you know we've modified, haven't we? We've modified the map. And now you can see. Watch, 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 watch. Look at that. Look at that. I think that is the prefab of of this crossroads drawing. In. So if we go, we if you remember, we deleted uh, the prefab for round here. Let's see if round here redraws as we go nearer. It's interesting, isn't it? Interesting. Oh yeah, no, it is. But it's not doing this bit. It's doing that though. Is that because we didn't save? The let's just try that again. Z Z right is at the top. L and delete. Escape and save because I think that may be what happened there. Let's find out. Then. Let's just do that, and we will do another just a proof of concept. So we're going to I'll, I'll quit out and come back in again. Uh, but I want to do a quick. Proof of concept on the um, thing. So I'm going to go like that. Okay. Um. Good. 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 Can't reach that one. Okay. Add trader area. That's interesting, isn't it? Uh, may as well just get rid of these. Can't reach them from here. Still cannot reach them from here. I cannot. I can reach it now. Delete the prefab. Just delete them all because I want to see what happens when we come back in for one last time and see what happens when we see it from a distance. Oh my word! I tell you what. I just ran around the garden there. And by crikey. The fact it was it wasn't just that, it was the fact that then I ran up the stairs. I was trying to tempt the cat into chasing me. I was like, come on cat, chase me. I didn't want to know. The damn cat just didn't want to know. Um If you press plus when you fly in, it's 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 supposed to speed you up, although it has loads of knock on effects I've discovered. I'm going to delete that, and while we're here, let's ugh, be too far away to delete that as well. Delete. So we're now left with that. It's good, isn't it? Can we just go up and check? Yeah. All the prefabs in the world, and they had to choose mine. Okay, so save, exit, and then let's go back in one last time and check. Uh, just to check and see. And then I'll just quickly show you how, if you were going to start a game off in this world, it would be, um, as far as I'm aware, exactly the experience of the Navas game map, only with the added uh, addition of our new section of the map. Uh, it was very exciting, wasn't it, really? Let's have a look, though. Are we... Where are we? Yeah, look. Look. Forest biome. I need to get to there. Quicker than that, though. Can we go quicker than this? Oh, yeah, it's as quick as it gets. Anyway, there you go. So, let's have a look. From a distance, now is just this beautiful forest biome. And because we deleted the prefabs, None of that drawing in that we were looking at there. It's all gone. It's now just permanently... Our, our water didn't survive. That's a shame. We could make a prefab... Um, we could make a prefab of this space. And then re-import it in as a pool. But for now, we'll just... Well, I guess we'll just leave it. I don't know why it's done that. It's a bit odd. Uh, but other than that, there you go. So we've got a, an empty city that we can populate with anything we like. We've we've done that. 
uh, we've done well. And to top it off, because we're so amazing, we have also managed to import a prefab into the default map, the nav Navas game map, and there it is. Yeah, I'm trying to press the buttons. In all of its glory, uh, and you can see we're missing all the other bases there. This is this is exactly how um, I made the Forbidden Zone episode of um, <clears throat> of whatever it was. Let's just get rid of them. Uh, so escape and save, and so that's it. Now let's imagine you want to play the game. Start a new game, locate the map. It's already got it. It's already got it because we've been editing it. But as long as you make that game world the one you want. You can do whatever. Test. Let's call it test. Did that say eight players? Holy no one sisters eight players. Why don't it say that? It doesn't, doesn't suppose it makes any else. So so we're gonna get the uh I gotta put DM mode on I guess because I don't know where we are. Oh we can't surely no. Continue. Continue. Map. Uh, let's just DM it. Oh shit, map. So now we're in the game. This is the game. I think that could be the farm. There's the uh, enhanced map. So it's remember this. This is all in play. I uh, do believe that could be us. In which case. No, completely no idea where I am right now. I thought that was us, no. Oh my god, I've completely lost. Um, right, hang, hang on. Where's the Diesville? Diesville's there. Diesville, check. Diesville farm. Ah! There you go, look. Great. So, we're, we're in the map. Brand new game. And look at that. Default. It's left the trench in, so it's not perfect. We could have fixed that in the world, I'd say. But, you know, we were, we were, we were rushing through it to see. A couple of downsizes. I can't open these cupboards. Um, any wiring has disappeared. The engines are empty. But it's all there. It's all there. So if you were making a base, you know, you could have got something to start from. Brilliant. So that's that. Uh, and then let's quickly shoot across to the... Uh, I think just there. Yeah. In the new forest biome. I, think I like it. I like it. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm going to check. Because I've not really done anything in this area because the fact I don't want to get blown up by a mine. So maybe we'll fix that. But look at that. In the distance, we can see um, all that stuff. And let's have a quick look around here. I think we've done quite well. So we've done well, ladies and gentlemen. This is a new game. We could We could be playing the game for real. Although we're not, but we could be. Um, we could play the game. It would play exactly like the actual game should do. It's the Nav's Gain map. Um, and again, if you don't like the snow biome, why not change it to, to a forest biome? It's as easy as that. Isn't that quite fantastic? It's a shame, I have to say, I think the fun pimps are missing a trick there for an easy... Uh, easy, you know, thing to do. Just literally stuff some stuff down here. I mean, it's brilliant. It's another city. And then all this is, is kind of fantastic, really, isn't it? It's kind of fantastic. Um, so there you go. If you are tempted to uh, have a go of doing that, then this little tutorial that we've offered up should offer you... Uh, obviously, that, that, I don't know what happened with that. I still don't know. Maybe that's just a side effect of the prefab. Um I don't suppose it matters. If we go like that and show... Oh, I've not got it on. It doesn't matter. Um, obviously, this was just a, a, a thing. You can import anything, really. It, it's just a thing, though. Isn't that good? So, uh, well, have a go of that. Have a go of it. And, you know, let me know what you've done, I suppose. It's interesting, though, isn't it? You've, you've literally got an empty place here that you can now import 
all of the assets that are in the game and, and make your own little you can make your own little city if you want or you can bring in all your all the assets that you've made perhaps um it's a good idea really it's a good idea to save your base as well as an asset um because if they do an update that suddenly doesn't allow you to play that game again you can at least still have that base as a keepsake and put it in a little corner out of the way if you want or have this like as a museum of all the things you've made which is just kind of cool isn't it it's kind of cool so there you go anyway that's it just did a special sort of thing really quite interesting just gonna keep going like that now brilliant isn't it really i'm still, still kind of buzzing off that really to be fair all right, so that's it. Do join us on the next proper episode of Seven Days to Die. This was just one of those things. It was just a space filler. Space filler. Yeah. Yeah, I had nothing better to do. I just thought I'd show you how to do that. It was interesting, wasn't it? It's the first time I've done it quite this way. This was different to how I did it last time. And I have to say, I do rather like it. Yes. Anyway, that's it. So, uh, you know, take it easy. Take it easy. I wonder if you can have a hidden base over here. Wouldn't it be cool if we found suddenly, suddenly found some kind of hidden... I mean, we've seen that, but wouldn't it be cool if, uh, curiously though, just before we do go, uh, if you remember when we found this house, though, uh, we came across a bear, and I, we didn't see where the bear came from. I've got a feeling that the bear, because I didn't go around the garden, you see, so I'm just curious to see, did the bear come from there? No. Where did the bear come from then? Look at them all queued up, ready to go. Do 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 do. No, that is a mystery. Unless the bear. Look at all that now, nice and green. God, it's good. Isn't it? Well, I don't know where the bear came from. I thought there was a bear hut, but obviously not. Never mind. Look at that. The secret hidden lakes. I just want this to be a, an actual, genuine, hidden thing that no one's ever seen, and it'd just be amazing. But I'm afraid to say I'm not seeing that hidden thing. It's well hidden, I suppose. That's just a terrible shame. Ah, oh, well, we're, still, we're just flying around now, aren't we? Just flying around, doing nothing. Still, it's very nice, isn't it? All this is kind of cool. I do like it, isn't it? It's nice. Um, no, it's good. Right, let's go. Uh, and uh, oh, let's go. Now I'm just floating around. I suppose you could end this. Uh, end this video whenever you like. I'm going to just check out over here. There's no secret, uh, silly, oh, what's that down there? That almost looks like something. No, it's just a trick of the light. Oh, trick of the light there. Play with your head. Damn it. <clears throat> well, I think we'll get to this mountain and then I mean you would wouldn't you if if this was me now if this was my game I think I'd have spent a little bit of time on a secret section at the edge of the map and and then if you if anyone I ever got there gosh it's so slow it's unbelievable oh we're in the radiation zone. Okay, fair enough. Let's see how far the radiation zone is. Oh, we're out. We're out. Okay, so that is... That's the edge of the map. 
Did she just fall off the mountain? Yeah, she did not. Let's go see them. Oh, she died. He died. It died. I died. No, I recovered. Yeah. Is she going to die? No. Um, no, well, there you go. They've missed a... a, a let's just quickly sneak through the mountain. No, there's definitely no hidden. Mm. Yeah, well, that's it. That's it. It was a boring end to a video, wasn't it? I should have ended it when I said I was going to end it, but I didn't end it. So now here I am ending it again still. Let's stand at this top of the mountain and look over what surely is some trees. Uh, and with that... I'll see you on the next episode of Seven Days to Die. Goodbye. Oh. I'll just sit here and contemplate the day. Ah. Lovely. Yeah. <sighs>